A campaign is a coordinated email attack against one or many organizations. They can span hours, days, weeks, or even months with active and inactive periods. Microsoft Defender for Office 365 uses the vast amounts of anti-phishing, anti-spam, and anti-malware data to help identify campaigns. Campaign views let you see the big picture faster and more complete than any person can alone. You can look for campaigns by filtering on key details and entities, like campaign type, campaign subtype, recipients, or even tags. In this case, I want to see campaigns involving priority accounts. I can narrow my search further by adding additional filters to the query and specifying a date range to include in it. More sophisticated queries? You bet. Select Advanced to create them. For example, you can edit the current query to exclude items or build a more advanced query from scratch. The chart at the top of the page summarizes the data in the query, and the grid below that shows each campaign it returns. Once you've found a campaign that you want to investigate, select it to open the details side pane. It provides essential information about the campaign, like the total number of messages received, the number that landed in inboxes, contained links that users clicked, and the number of times a user was allowed to visit the page. The value for targeted indicates how specifically your organization was targeted versus other organizations using the service. Below that, the timeline describes when the campaign is happening. Now, same time each day or week, it can help you identify patterns. But the most interesting thing here is the message flow just below the timeline. The left side shows sender IP addresses and domains. Do you recognize any of them? Is the attacker spoofing your domain? Maybe you can block these domains in policies. Next to that are filter verdicts. These describe what happened to the messages, what detection technologies acted on them. If you see tenant allow here, that means an override allowed delivery. You can use information like that to help identify filtering and configuration issues. And finally, message destination indicates where the messages are now. Worry most about messages that landed in inboxes and junk email folders. Messages that landed in quarantine are safe from users' tendency to click any link they see. Of course, when fish does land in users' mailboxes, you want to know what happened if they clicked the URLs. You learn whether safe links blocked or allowed it. Did users override the block? This information can help you determine if you should prevent overrides in your safe links policies. All the way at the bottom of the side pane are four tabs that contain detailed information. The URL clicks tab lists who clicked on URLs in the messages and what happened. The tag column is there to catch your attention when priority and other important accounts click on the URLs. The remaining tabs provide IOCs, like sender IP addresses, and you can click on any IP address to see its location. Likewise, the senders tab lists each sender domain, plus the total number of messages from that sender, the number that landed in users' inboxes, other locations, and the number that passed DKIM and DMARC email authentication. The Attachments tab lists the files attached to campaign emails, and the URLs tab does the same for URLs. Select one of the URLs to open its details. This gives you information about each message that includes the subject line, original delivery location, and current location. You can also act on one or more of the messages right here. For example, you might soft delete all of them. The Clicks tab lists each time a user clicked on a URL in campaign messages and the outcome. And the last tab provides detailed information about the URL, including its name registration. No need to flip over to Whois for this. Sometimes, like when you want to know more about campaign emails that landed in users' inboxes, you might need to continue your investigation in Explorer. And there's a shortcut for that right here. Select Explore Messages followed by Inboxed Messages to open Explorer filtered on the selected campaign with an inbox delivery location. At the bottom of Explorer, select one of the emails to open the new email entity page, which shows thread information, latest delivery location, original delivery location, delivery action, and the detection technology that caught it. The Analysis tab contains a great deal of detail about the message, detections, 
sender and recipient details, plus information about email authentication are all there. As well, you can have a closer look at the message header. The Attachments tab lists each email attachment, plus its detonation details. And the URL tab does the same for URLs. Again, the detonation details can help give you a clearer picture of whether the URL is benign, fish, or something else. Last, on the Similar Emails tab, you can search your organization to find other similar emails. Once you've confirmed that the email is bad and should not remain in the inbox, you can quickly act on it, right here in Explorer, to soft delete it, an action that will also trigger an automated investigation. Campaign views in Microsoft Defender for Office 365 can help you quickly identify and respond to coordinated email attacks. For more information, we invite you to see our documentation on Microsoft Docs.